In today's video, we do a full shoulders and triceps workout using the Force USA G20 right after this. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the Force USA headquarters. Today we have yet another video on the Force USA G20. We've already done a back and biceps workout as well as a full overview and spec feature kind of review with Dan from Force USA. Both those videos will be in the description below, but today we are going to do a shoulders and triceps workout. So we're gonna edit to kind of in between setting up all that stuff and everything. But some of the stuff like in back and biceps, I kind of rested really short periods, went right back into it, and that's what we're gonna do today. So shoulders and triceps, the majority of what we'll be using is the Smith machine, as well as the cable pulleys to give you an idea of what the base model offers. If you wanna know more about the optional part in the back here, go to the back and biceps workout. We use that for pull downs and then some other exercises as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna use the Force USA light commercial bench, which feels pretty heavy right now. And then I'm gonna do shoulder presses. Also, we're gonna be using different plates and the bumper plates and when we load those, we'll talk about those and the differences between those and the commercial bumper plates. I don't know whose belt this is, but I wanna thank them for letting me borrow it without me asking. <laughs> so the plates we'll be using are these right here. They're available on the Force USA website. And you can see they're different than the bumpers. They have the handles. I call them standard Olympic plates, so that's what they are. They're more rubberized or hard rubber. Uh, they remind me of the flooring, the Versa flooring, uh, but very beneficial and much easier to carry around than the bumper plates. So let's load these up. I'm gonna start off pretty light because I've been doing a lot of workouts trying to document them here at the headquarters. That's a good excuse, isn't it, for doing a light day? What I'm gonna do is just face out here. Now the hooks on these face towards the front of the machine, so this will be easier for shoulder presses and as well as bench press. And I hope I don't hit the microphone. All right, right here, I'm just gonna show you what the interior working space is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's look at it right there. Now this is a 45 pound bar, so it's not a calorie balance bar. You can never say that way. Counter balance bar, like the G12, this is a true 45 pound bar on the Smith machine. And it does feel a bit different than the G12 Smith machine bar. All right, I'm gonna load a couple more tens, with one ten on each side. That would not look good as a thumbnail. I wanna get a thumbnail of one of these shoulder press sets. <laughs> but I might have to, I'm not gonna use fake weights, but I might go up to a quarter after this, depending upon how heavy this feels. Now you can switch your grip you have. Like sometimes I go in a little bit more and have that. But the wider grip, I just want to really demonstrate the interior working space of the 20, if you're especially taller than me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. All right, let me go up to the quarters. Be thumbnail worthy, <laughs> thumbnail worthy then, going up to quarters, also known as 25 pounds. Go right into this. Maybe I'll just treat those first two sets as warm ups, and we'll go right into it. Right there. Here we go, go right back into it. Ah, I forgot to start my Apple Watch. Oh well, at least I hit record. Well, let me check. <laughs> Yes, I hit record. <laughs> I did one of the things I was supposed to do. If you can't laugh at yourself, then I don't know what the rest of the saying is. All right, thumbnail set right here. Heavy. Thumbnail. And then one more. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I laugh so much when I work out. It's just fun. Okay, so now we're gonna do some side delt raises using uh, the cable pulley system here. And we're gonna use pretty lightweight. 
Maybe you can go all the way down to 20. And then we're gonna use one of the attachments here. What I'm gonna do is pick probably the first one from the longest. That should be good right there. We kind of get a little brace here. We'll see if that feels even heavy. Because I'm using a one-to-one -one ratio on this, I kind of have to adjust because I have the G3 right now with a two-to-one ratio and it's plate loaded. And then before that I had the previous model G6, two-to-one ratio cable stacks. This feels much, much different. That even feels heavy. That feels a little heavy to me right there. Wow, let me see if I can close the gap here. Just kind of trying to fill it out. I mean, that's not a bad thing. And I actually have an alternate for you that if you are gonna buy those plates, for me, it just feels a little too heavy right now. That's the adjustment, like I said, from two to one to one to one. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do uh, lateral or side delt raises, then I'm gonna do fronts as a superset. We're gonna go right into it. I'm gonna use these tens that I loaded not for the thumbnail thing, but I loaded for the <laughs> I loaded for the um, shoulder presses. So I'm just gonna hold the handles like this. One, I can even bring it in like this. Two, three, four. I'll just go to the side. Five, six, seven, eight. Right to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Also, if you have a pair of 45s of those, you can just do shrugs with them. We're going to do shrugs on the Smith machine, but uh, that's part of the challenge of working out. That felt very, very heavy to me. So, and I have it just right on the pin. So for me, a lot of that, like I said, is adjusting from the two to one ratio, especially, but maybe even from the play loaded to the two to one ratio to this one to one weight stack. Well, I got a way to go. So I. <laughs> Oh man, I'm laughing because that's that that surprised me. That really surprised me. But we're gonna leave it in because you may have the same adjustment and be like very frustrated. But don't be frustrated. Just work at it, and hopefully I'll get there. I know you'll get there. So now we're gonna do shrugs using the Smith machine bar, and this is a good representation of the interior working space of the G20. I have plenty of room, even with the attachment here. It's sticking out. If that wasn't there, I'd have even more interior working space as far as how deep the G20 is. But I remind you, we talked about it in the overview video. The footprint of this is not much deeper and sometimes even a little bit shallower than the G12 and the G6, depending upon your configuration. And even if you remove the plate holders, you're gonna have a smaller footprint. But I like having the barbell or the bar, not the barbell, the plate storage. There is barbell storage too. So let's bring this down. Now I have safeties here as well that I'm gonna use so I don't have to go all the way down to the bottom. So I'll figure out where that would be. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so right there, that would be about good. So I'll have to load those plates up again. This time, I can load heavier ones. I'm gonna put 45s on each side. And it does make it a little bit easier, much easier to carry those. And we're actually gonna do a video on which is right for you the bumper plates or these plates I'm loading up right now. So of course, be careful stepping over. Don't be clumsy like me. And we'll get a grip here. They even have a little plate that goes across here on the G20. So it's nice to be able to kind of stand there and come up. Let's get a feel for shrugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now it feels pretty light, but like I said, I'm gonna keep it pretty light in this workout and keep the rest kind of short, maybe in 30 or 45 seconds. So we'll do one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. <sighs> Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, very nice. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to triceps and hopefully it won't be too heavy for me. I guess it wouldn't be. We'll see though. 
Now I want to show you a little trick. Now this is a trick once again. I'm going to go off camera. You get 15 of these carabiners with the G20. So what I suggest a lot of times, because this is pretty tight up here, so I'm going to just hook this here and keep most of the attachments with one of the carabiners. And then what I can do is do that and hook it right up there. Makes it much easier to kind of take this off and then go to the rope. If that has a carabiner, you get 15 of them. So you're either going to put them up on the pegboard or you're going to put them in a bin or you can use them and keep them on the attachments and it keeps your organizational stuff within your gym a lot better. Maybe I should take my own advice. I could even bring this down a little bit here. That looks about right. And I'm going to load up. I'm going to keep it light, 40. Because once again, the one-to-one -one ratio is kind of throwing me off from what I'm used to with the two-to-one. So let's go straight bar here. And even that feels a little heavy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. That height right there is right. I'm going to rest about 30 seconds. Now I have an elbow and a bicep injury that's well over a year old, but I'm having a little bit of trouble recovering from it. So sometimes what I do is I try to feel what is the best position. Some people even do tricep push downs out here with their elbows away and try to keep everything locked and squeezing their elbows in. I'm somewhere in between. This one here, like the body drag, I don't know. Some days I can, some days I can't. Here we go, let's start at the bottom. Feel where we're gonna be. I can even do a little chorus dance, but I'll stay like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Okay, gonna do a few more sets of this, and then we're gonna go to the rope pull downs once again. I'm gonna grab a carabiner off the pegboard, attach it to the rope. That way, when I'm done, this just stays here. It, it makes, makes my life a whole lot easier right now, so maybe it'll help you too. Oh, almost got it. So now it's time for rope push downs for my triceps. Now when we hook the rope, it's gonna be quite a bit longer. So I'm gonna raise up the cable to the top, even one down, and I'm about where I wanna be. I don't want it too high, but obviously I don't want it too low where it's gonna, the stack's gonna re-rack and I'm not gonna get full uh, the full negative on the push down. So let's try it out. But once again, use these 15 of them, hook them up to your attachments. Even if you just take this one and hook it between your attachments, but you'll still have that. And that's, like I said, that's pretty tight. And this just kind of another maybe inch right there, but you can always raise this up and, and get that. So I, I really do like the fact they supply 15 of these and it's, uh, it's a nice little uh, perk to find a G20. All right, we're gonna stay with the same weight here, which feels a little bit heavier. Two, three, four, I can even bring it out there. I'm gonna keep it right in front of me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll rest pretty short. One of the attachments, of course, that's included is this rope push down attachment as well. You can do overheads like this. I'm choosing to keep it pretty simple. Straight bar, this. I could have even have done reverse, but I'm just gonna do this because we've been doing a lot of workouts all week. I'm gonna stay with this and keep it light. Doesn't feel light now though. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So I want to talk a little bit more about this that I'm sitting on. This is the VersaPad for the G20 base model. And Dan and I covered this a little bit in the overview for the G20, but I really want to kind of expand what you can do with this. As you can see, I'm sitting on it right here. So I'm kind of using it as a flat bench in this regard. So for example, I'm going to do triceps right here, two different exercises, but right here you can do leg raises for your abs. Of course, I wouldn't be wearing the weight belt. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can do incline push-ups. We're going to do closed grip diamond push-ups for the triceps. But before we get to that, once again, we're going to have this plate here. And what we can do is the overhead. Now, you can use it with the cables, but I'm saying if you wanted to 
use a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or even one of these plates. Come up here, we have room height-wise and depth-wise with the G20, and you can just do that. You get your overhead tricep extension right there. Bring it down and put that off to the side. Now the next exercise could be closed, um, closed grip or diamond push-ups for your triceps, or regular push-ups, even declines that Dan showed but we're right here and get it in a little closer and come down just like that. Now the VersaPad is not as wide as say a bench. So if you have bigger hands, you might have problems with it, but you can adjust here. You can still do that. If for example, you can't afford a bench, you bought, you know, this was just quite expensive and you want to be able to utilize every attachment and every bit of the space and bit of the utility of the G20. You can do it with the VersaPad. Now you're not gonna be able to use the Smith machine. The VersaPad sticks out a little bit right there, but you can also just figure out different things. As a matter of fact, if you want, leave a comment below if you have a G20, what you're using the VersaPad for, and we'll try to get another video out demonstrating exactly what you can do with this. That all jacked my heart rate up. So that is about it for our shoulders and triceps workout using the base model of the Force USA G20. Please watch the other two videos, the overview video with Dan from Force USA, and also the back and biceps workout where we utilize the base model as well as the optional attachment back there on pull downs, rows, and of course, bicep exercises. It's really, I don't, I don't have too many bad things to say about this. Is it overkill? Maybe for some people, but when you really do take into account the fact that things could happen where gyms are going to close down again, where you're not going to have access to anything, I actually see a lot of people buying the G20 because it's the last piece of gym equipment they're ever going to buy. So the high price tag over the course of a lifetime, say with gym memberships, maintenance fees, all the stuff you get from Planet Fitness, Golds, LA Fitness, all those different uh, commercial gyms, it really is baked into this. And in fact, you get all these different accessories that are very much upgraded commercial grade accessories with this commercially graded G20. It's a pretty, it's a pretty great value when you think about it. And of course, you know, three stations for pull-ups and other things, you can have multiple people working out. So there are people that are actually making the G20 part of their business model in order to make a profit as a personal trainer, group training, all that stuff, or even working out of their garage in those boot camp style atmospheres. So that's kind of the use case. The way I'm looking at it too, this may be the last thing I would buy. I'm not quite sure, uh, but at the G3, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the experiment of the plate loaded stuff. But like I tried on the, on the side delt raises, it, it was very much an adjustment from the two to one plate loaded ratio to a one to one weight stack ratio. So that's something I have to get used to. But that's part of the fitness journey, right? Pretty cool stuff. We're all in it together. We're all trying to be our best each and every day. And some days you have to make those adjustments. You have to make those modifications. So, okay, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Please, if you decide to get the G20 or anything else on the Forest USA website, use the affiliate link in the description below, along with the affiliate code. You save a little bit of money. And when you're buying something this expensive, saving some money is really a great thing. Then you can get a bench plates, whatever you need on top of that for about the same price. And of course, the code and the link will be good if you buy those plates, benches, or anything else along with that in your order. So uh, please remember to do that. It helps save you some money and also helps support our content so we can buy overkill stuff like the G20, which now I'm not thinking of so much overkill. Hmm. What's my wife going to say when this thing shows up? Most importantly, guys, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.